Hello, my name is Josh, and I'm Watchaholic. Welcome to Horology Insanity. What is up, my watch friends? So, check this out today. I'm going to do a little unboxing video, and you might be able to guess what's in it based off of the watches I have here in the background. Now, don't mind my G-Shocks. Again, I got G-Shocks coming out of my ears. Oh, wrist check. I'm wearing the blue. This is the pastel series. Kind of reminds me of Easter. We're going to look at another one here in a second. Oh, and then this is the third. So the trifecta, right? The trifecta of those three, which I love. This blue one I actually got as a gift from a buddy of mine. He knew that I was hunting these down and collecting them. And I'm guessing he got one or got a good deal on it. And so he snatched it up for me and mailed it to me. So, yeah, dude, I'm so, so lucky to be a part of some of the watch groups I'm in. But anyway, today, aside from the blue, we are looking at salmon dials, which sometimes come close to pink, sometimes are copper. And then I included a couple of the reddish kind of burgundy ones over here, too, just for us to give us a comparison. But... This is what we're looking at. Oh, that tells you what it is. That's a sneak peek. Anybody heard of the Sari 169? So I ordered this from Japan. I took it out of the outer box it was in and I did crack it open just to see kind of what was in it or to see that stuff was in it. It was. And so this is pretty sweet. I open it up. I don't remember who which which of the japan buying services i got this from but they were nice enough to include and i can't even get it in here, here let me pull this out the seiko catalog 2020 watch catalog so that'll make for some enjoyable reading later let me try to set this aside i've got so many watches piled up on my table that it's hard for me to to move around but yeah here we go oh there's a clean cloth on the side this watch is right here and it's pretty well secured. So give me a second. Hopefully my editor will play some funny music. Maybe fast forward this um, and let me see if I can get this open. All right, here we go. This is the moment of truth. I don't know if I'm holding this upside down or not. So we will see what it looks like. That looks like it's a spare strap. Oh, and it came with another deployment. And, oh, that is absolutely brilliant. Wow. Okay, so there's the hang tag, I guess. Sorry, 169. And this is new, it's new in box. It's, uh, you know, not been touched. It's not on the secondary market. I suspect that once these sell out, they're going to be selling on the secondary market, right? Which we know like many of these do. That sells for a huge premium. These were going for a premium. But yeah, look at, okay, let's see if we can take this out. All right. Well, I got to decide if I'm going to wear this or am I going to leave it unworn new in box? That's a decision. Um, tell me down in the comments, what do you think? Wear them. Are you one of those watches are meant to be worn person? Or are any of you out there collectors where you you just like to admire them? Yeah, this thing is absolutely brilliant. It comes with this brown leather with a deployant buckle on it that you can swap out. I'm guessing it's quick release spring bars. So quick release spring bars, yeah, quick release. So you can swap them out. Oh, they don't right there. You can see it. Okay, there's a good shot. See through case back limited edition oh yeah there's mine there 269 out of 5,000 so it looks like there's 5,000 of these made so what do y'all think of limited editions that have really really big lots like that Seiko is known for that right they'll do a limited edition and it'll be like thousands of watches compared to like my Zelos. so here let's just pull this out real quick I'll set this here so that we can still see it okay this Zelos, right, was a limited edition. It's the Nova Salmon Dial. There were other Zelos Novas made, but there were only 60 Salmon Dial of these made. Elshin said he definitely did not make as many of these as he did the others. He didn't think that the Salmon Dial was going to sell, and it actually sold out first, and it sold out in minutes. And I was one of the ones 
I'm lucky enough to grab one. So yeah, so here's that. Um, and so I kind of just want to do some like side by side shots real quick and just kind of comparing you see what your options are. You can see there's different texturing on these two dials. The left one, it's the Sacred Presage lineup. And they were saying that it's part of like the cocktail series. And so you can see it's got a pattern on it. It also has like a fume it, brighter on the interior and then it fades to a darker salmon on the exterior, which is pretty neat. Um, the Zelos is pretty much the same all the way around, even though it does have that guilloche pattern on it, but the color of the dialing isn't different. So that's curious. And yeah, I just wanted to set some of these other watches out here because people, I saw a post in the microbrain group saying, hey, what what salmon watches are out there? So let's look at one. This is the Notice Retrospect. Now this Notice comes with both the stainless steel bezel or this black bezel. And I think the black bezel looks better personally. I think the contrast makes the salmon dial stand out more, make, makes it more pronounced. So that's just my opinion. So, but I got those. And then not necessarily salmon, but a pink. Right, I have this L'Oreal sub homage. So this is one of my Chinese specials. This pink watch is one of my absolute favorites. I love, love, love this watch. See how it compares to the pink and the different shades. Yeah, the 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 Seiko on the left doesn't appear to have like a sunburst, but it does appear to have a visual effect because of the etching on the dial. So I'm curious about that. And then just because, yeah, pink watches. G-Shock. If you don't have a G-Shock square in your collection, then you're missing out. So here we've got that. This mesh is really nice. Now that I'm thinking about it. But, and then just to compare it, so like here's the Burgundy Seiko. And so you can see the purple hues on that kind of stand out a lot more when you put it next to the pink. And wow, look at when I put it next to the Burgundy. It makes the Salmon Dial Seiko look a lot more pink. It makes it look a lot lighter than when I had it up next to those others. I'm always fascinated by the visual effects when you put a watch next to another watch or put a, something of one color next to another color and the way that it can alter the colors of those. That's very fascinating to me. Here's the red Orient Kamasu. Yeah, see these deeper, darker dials are making that salmon look all the more bright. That's funny. Man, I like it though. Yeah, and this Seiko is a great size. That's a, I love this Nova right here, but it's it's a hair. I got an eight inch wrist. It's a hair small. I wish that he'd have made a 41 mil version of that watch. Here's a Periellus I picked up just because of the red dial. There's the infamous dust. But yeah, pull it out of the box. That's what I get. So yeah, that's fascinating. But this is what I wanted to share with you. So I don't know much about it. Uh, I, I'm not a Seiko expert, even though I have a bunch of them and, uh, I don't know what movement this has. Um, I think it usually tells you down here. Let me zoom in. And if my old man hands can hold this up long enough. Oh, it looks like, so made in Japan. And I think that says 4R, which is, I think their lower end one. If you're a Seiko person, tell me. I think I wish it might have had the 6R. So that's a little disappointing. So, but I don't know, it's not like I really care. I, you know, I wear them. I wear G-Shocks, honestly. I wear G-Shocks almost every day. The other ones I just collect for fun half the time. Let me know what y'all think about this. Do you like it? What do you think of the salmon dial trend that's kind of going through the industry? Do you think it'll last? Do you think it's a fad? I'm curious, anybody, I wanted to try out the Copper Dial Zen Chronograph. It's thick though, man, it's a chunky monkey. And so that's what's kept me from ordering it. And my Grail Salmon watch, the Ming, the Ming. And I've got dibs on it from a buddy of mine. I'm just patiently waiting and I'm trying not to bother him every day by asking him if he's going to sell it. But anyway, in the meantime, I've got all these other ones kind of tied me over. So tell me what you think about Salmon watches down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Until we talk again, my friends, please remember what really matters. And that's not watches. Keep the insanity safe.